This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. Hello, someone's having a little break over there. <laughs> How are you doing? You all right? Um, yes, I am a married man. Now, ladies, 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 I am sorry. <laughs> Form an orderly crew. <laughs> yeah, no, um, yeah, I had, uh, had a great, great week off. Went on holiday since my last video and uh, got married so yeah married man now got a ring put on it um yeah what can i say <laughs> right we are today uh, it's friday um we are hoping to go home tonight uh fingers crossed might be a long day we'll have to wait and see um we might have to go and get loaded from the range later on this evening which could put us quite late into the day which is why i've started late today um it's currently quarter past nine in the morning but I did start at six o'clock. I've been driving for the last three hours or so because um, we are down in Sussex and we are literally just around the corner from where we need to be. We're delivering to a garden centre. They don't open up until nine o'clock and it's, uh, it's quarter past nine now, as I said. So uh, hopefully we can go in and get loaded. I don't, well, unloaded, sorry. I don't know exactly where we're going in there. It looks like, in, in, if I've included this in on screen now, it looks like there's a car park which is plausible to be offloaded in, but also looks like a back entrance, or, or like a well, like a lane that goes down the middle towards the back. So it could be down there as well. We'll have to see. But yeah, we just need to make a left-hand turn, and then um, we can go. Typical daft noise. Oh, also, <laughs> I do apologise for this, but uh, I'm going to be indicating left now. You're going to hear a lot of beeping because it's, uh, I've got a caution vehicle turning left, audible warning outside now, and inside it beeps to tell me when there's like trees and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know, that's annoying, I know. Yeah, I know that's annoying. <laughs> it's annoying for me as well, let me tell you. But um, it has to be there. For, uh, for London, DVS required, so I can now drive this truck into London. Um, I've got all the permits and everything, and I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure the boss said in a few weeks' time I've got to go to Tower Bridge. We'll have to see. Right, so we're indicating because we're turning right into this place here. Nothing behind us. Mermian's Gardens. Uh, there is a sign that says HDVs and deliveries. That's what we want to see. This entrance looks a bit tighter than I expected. Morning. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, where did you want me to park? Down there as well, is it? Uh, what we'll do is we'll put you in nose first. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, then we'll reverse you up and out. Like and out that. we go. Yeah, nice one. No problem at all. It's from Malcourt Industries, if you didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> right, so um, it's going to be awkward getting in there because there's a post there. 
kind of got the wrong angle in. I've I've driven in at the, the right angle to drive down there where they've put the signage. Unless the signs do say... No, the signs say left, actually. So maybe it does mean in there. I thought it meant down there. Okay, right. So, yeah, we need to go down here and uh, they'll offload us. There's a no customer parking sign, so that's going to have to be moved. Um... I might need to go back a little bit just to get a slightly different angle. But anyway, we're here. We are here. Um, we're going to get offloaded, and then from here we've got to drive straight to Reading. <laughs> so it's quite quite a distance to um, to our next destination. Okay, calculating routes. We've got to go to Reading from here. It's a two-hour drive, um, so we will need to get a break in on the way up. Because obviously we're what are we on now? We're on we're on literally two fifty nine. So by the time we park up, it's going to be three hours, and then we'll we'll have an hour and a half driving time left. We need to stop for a break. So we'll um we'll get back up towards the M twenty five and probably we stop. What's the services called? Cobham? I think is it Cobham? No, it's not Cobham. There's services on the M twenty five. We can stop there. Um, yeah. So we've got to go to Reading. We've got to get fully loaded with pallets, and then that's going to go to uh, what I call Shep, but could be pronounced as Chep <laughs> in Swindon. And I've been there many, many, many times, and you can be there for a good two, three hours easy. So um, I suspect that we are going to be there in Swindon come three, four o'clock before we even go elsewhere. So um, we'll have to see. And then I'm not sure if I'm doing the range or not. I think I think I am, but he did say, uh, the boss did say that I might not be. But I think I will be. We'll see. Right. Staff are coming out. They're moving the cars. They're thinking, oh, what a pain. This lorry driver's a pain. <laughs> right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, park up, get the curtains undone, and then we can uh, get offloaded. Okay, so we're currently being offloaded now. As you can see, so I've got a full load of pallets coming off. And, uh, yeah, he's just taking them over there. Happy days. Right, we are tipped. I'm going to leave my seatbelt off for a second, actually. Because we've got to reverse in a sec. I'm just waiting for uh, the guy. Oh, there he is. He's ready. I need to put my mid-lift axle up so I've got better turning circle. Now, I think this is going to be quite tight. He just said to me, he goes, he said, someone, we, we got delivered a tunnel, and uh, he said, apparently the lorry driver said he was the lo longest legally allowed lorry on the UK roads. So said, oh, yeah. So he probably didn't tell you he had rear steer <laughs> on the trailer, because I don't. <laughs> It's tight to the trailer on the left. Can't really go any tighter than that. That's right, we can jackknife it. That way. Cheers, mate. Thank you. There we go. Right. So we're out. Just put my seatbelt on now. Legally allowed to not wear a seatbelt when making manoeuvres such as that. Happy days. Right. 
So we were there a little while. Uh, we did get a 15 minute break in. Uh, undone the curtains and I sat in the truck while they offloaded me. So I had a 15 minute break. Don't care what people say. Some people say, oh, you can't do that. You know, you're working. Well, I'm not working. I'm having a break. I'm eating a sausage roll. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm out on 15 minute break. So we do need to stop for a half an hour break on the way back up. So we'll, uh, we'll stop somewhere. What are we on now driving time wise? 3.01. So like I said, about three hours. Let's get on out of here. Whilst I was having my break, I was scrolling along on TikTok. And I saw that, because uh, there's this thing where drive, HGV drivers do like live TikToks. <laughs> they're like, they don't talk or anything. They just have their phone on their cradle. And they got it on the live streaming what they're doing. And uh, it just so happens he's on the M25, this bloke. And um, on the M25, where the M4 split is, which is the exact place I need to get to Reading. And uh, it was chock a block. <laughs> it was rammed. So we've got a bit of traffic ahead of us. Hopefully it clears up on the way. But, um, but yeah, scrolling through TikTok on the 15 minute lunch is having a break, as far as I'm concerned. Right, let's crack on. We, uh, we've got to go get some pallets now. Empty, uh, empty? Uh, blue sh Shep pallets, unloaded pallets, just the wooden crates. And we've got to take them to Shep. So let's crack on to, uh, to Reddin. I will see you a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Right, we are, uh, we're in the services now. It, it was Cobham. I'm sure I said Cobham earlier. So we're in the services now. We're going to get a break in. It took us quite a while to get here because of the traffic. Look at that traffic. That's mental. If, if assuming I've got my phone out for you. <laughs> um, yeah. So we should have got here on about four hours driving. We ended up getting here on four hours 25. So we literally only had five minutes left of drive time uh, before we ran out. But um, yeah, there we are. Just going to have a quick break. And um, yeah. Once the break's finished, we'll uh, crack on to Reading. Should be there about 20 to 1-ish, something like that. Something like that. Right. In a bit. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Morgan Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Oh my god, that has taken so long to get here. The traffic on the M25. Absolute mayhem, and I realise now why it's absolute mayhem. It's because Euro 2020, well, is it 2020? Yeah, it's Euro 2020 in 2021. England and Scotland are playing at Wembley Stadium today, and uh, <laughs> there's no better word for it. The motorway is shagged. <laughs> it's just it's mental. Um, and then even through Reading, um, sorry, not Reading, through uh, like Bracknell. Um, yeah, just very busy. Very busy roads, and I do apologise for that noise. It is so annoying, man. It's uh, there's like a little speaker thing on it, and I reckon I get some like black blue tack just to muff it a little bit because it's way too loud. Just way too loud. Right, I'm gonna get in the right hand side lane because we do want to go right around this roundabout. We're pretty much here now. I've never been to this place before. We go to Brakes. Um, in Redden, looks like a massive building. So um, fingers crossed we can get in. Looks like there's a security gate on the way in. So uh, we'll ask them where we need to go. Uh, 4.8, I can get under that bridge. Just uh, it's always good to just look at bridges as you go past them, just to try and remember them. Right, that's Brakes Building there. Look, massive plate. Oh, that beeping is so annoying, man. Like to the extent that I think it gives me a headache. That's how loud it is. Here we go, Sutton's Business Park. Dead end. And we want to be going in here. Is it this one? No, next one. Oh, might be that one. I think it's this one. Yeah, welcome to Brakes Redden. Right, let's see security bloke. Ah, 
There is the Palats. There's a bloke on the forklift as well. I'm about to say hello to him, aren't I? Hi, mate. I've come to get loaded with some of those blue pallets. Yeah. Where do you want me, mate? Um, sort of park yourself down that line. Do you want to get to... Your You'll get... You want to go both sides, yeah? yeah. Wicked. All right, mate. I think that'd be about right. If I, if I need to move, I'll move. Right. I'm going to go and get these loaded. And then uh, we're going to head back to Swindon. I can't imagine it's going to take too long to get there. But yeah, see you in a bit. It's a bit wet out there, so I've come to sit inside. <laughs> um, normally, I'd wait outside and have a chat with the forklift and just watch what he's doing, really, and move curtains and stuff. Uh, but I, I can't be bothered. It's wet and it's rainy. Not only that, but um, it seems this place has a very strict code on how many pallets you can lift in one go, because what normally happens, I can go 15 high, uh, and what normally happens at most places is they will stack them 15 high, lift them up and put them straight on the bed. But uh, it looks like he's doing seven at high, and then eight high, or eight and seven. Um, basically, each, each line, he's got to do two lifts. So, um, yeah, and there's going to be... There's going to be what? There's going to be... 13 rows, yeah, 13 rows, either side, so that's 26, and then he's got to do that twice, so that's 57, no, 52, 52, something like that, <laughs> 52 lifts, <laughs> oh god, got to laugh, got to laugh as you're crying, <laughs> oh god. Okay, that's what he's doing, so he's, he can only go 10 high. Yeah, because they're 15 high in total. So he's putting five down first, and then he's doing 10. So yeah, he's doing each row twice. Like I said, it's 13 rows going down. So that'll be 26 lifts on one side, and then another 26 this side, 52 lifts. It's gonna take a while. Mm. Yeah, it's taken ages. Not the quickest of tips, but what can you do? He's, uh, he's currently lining up the rows of 10 on the other side of the truck. So um, he hasn't got to go as far, but he's still got to travel back and forwards. So what, he, so what he's what he's actually doing is he's getting pallets, he's bringing it over, he's dropping it, and then he's going back and he's getting more pallets, bringing them back, and then he's dropping it. And then he's got to go back under him again. So actually, Actually, rather than 52 lifts, it's going to be 104 lifts because he's putting them down again anyway over there and he's got to lift it back up. So it's actually 104 lifts. 104 lifts. Why? Put them all in one go. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, he's putting them over there, look. Dropping them down and then he'll pick them back up again to go back on. It's just, uh, in my opinion, it's just a waste of time, to be honest. Just whack them on in one go, 15 high, do you know what I mean? Right. How long have we been here for? One, one hour, 10 minutes to be loaded. Nice. That uh, it definitely took a while to be loaded. Ah, pointless time wasting, that was. I don't know, like, God. 10 only because they could only do 10 high at a time so that was why um it a it took so long and then it's just i don't know it was it was like extra work for no reason pretty much dead slow so yeah eta to swindon now is 10 to 4. um <laughs> i've been there before on a friday for three hours easily um so I think it is going to be like quite a late one. We never know. It might not be. I can only work until nine o'clock. So if I am there for quite a long time, which I suspect I will be, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to go to Avonmouth anyway to get loaded with the range. But we'll have to see. I might only be at Shep for like an hour. And then uh, it'd be five o'clock and I've got four hours left. So I might then have time. 
So we'll have to we'll just have to wait and see how long it takes at Shep really and then we'll uh, play it by ear. But first let's get out of here. Do I need to sign anything on the way out? I don't know. He's not looking at me, so he's not looking at me, gates open. I'm going high and hanging about. They haven't got me to sign anything to say I pick up the pallets either. I said, do you want me to sign anything to say I've taken them? Nah, that's all right, mate. I hate waiting around. <laughs> I'd rather just be working. Right, let's go and uh, make our way to Swindon. We'll be there in just over an hour or so. We'll go to Shep and uh, see how long the queue is. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we won't be queuing out onto the road because if we are, then we're there for a long time. We'll have to see. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we are just coming off of Junction 16. Traffic is a nightmare today. The M4's been chock a block as well. Oh. Anyway, we've had confirmation we won't be going to the range tonight. Um, we, it's getting on, <laughs> basically. It's four o'clock in the afternoon now. Um, now, I have actually been in contact with Chuck Ajenko, you know, fellow road legend, Martin. Uh, he's actually at Shep right now. Right now. Uh, he's been there for two hours, over two hours. Um, but he's, uh, he's currently getting loaded. In fact, he's about to leave. They, they nearly just finished loading him by the time I've um, finished talking to him. Anyway, point is, we might see him on the way in. Possibly. We might not. We might go in as he's coming out. We'll go past him as he, like, before he comes out. We will see. But we should uh, potentially see him. So we're keeping an eye out for Martin. Martin's in an edition one Mercedes. He's a nice truck. It's like 650 horsepower. It's uh, yeah, a very powerful truck. But uh, he said there was at least five trucks behind him. And that was over half an hour ago. Well, uh, lights changing, lights changing. That was over half an hour ago. So um, there could be a one or, one or two more. Hello, Wayne. You all right? Someone I, re re <laughs> someone I know. Yeah, so we, um, there could be a few trucks behind him as well. So we'll just have to, just have to wait and see, really. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Wayne. I used to work with Wayne uh, back on the tarmac days. Uh, then again, when he uh, come and worked, well, did he work for JK? Yeah, he did, yeah. Then again, when he come and worked for JK, and then uh, one more time, we did the same work at the same time on the low load and stuff. So, um, yeah, I've worked with Wayne quite a lot. <laughs> right, I don't see Martin. Where is Martin? Can't see him yet. We are going to get over because we need to turn right in uh, 700 yards at the roundabout up ahead. Keep going. This van in front is going to be going where we're going, Neptune, because they're based down there. Ah, Holiday Inn is there. Did some filming there with my brother on a video which is coming out soon. I think that's going to be coming out after this video that you're watching, potentially. Now, I predicted to Martin that he would be out at 5 to 4. It is now 5 to 4. We've got to... Come on, let's see Martin. I've never seen Martin on the road. Well, actually, yes, yes I have. But not this close. It's always been like of an opposite carriageway on the M4 or something. Never actually been this close. Of course, we're gonna, gonna see Martin next week when we all go to Devon Truck Show. Nah, I don't think we're going to see him. 
I think he's still in there. We've got to go past the exit to get into the entrance. And then, um, yeah, he, he'll, he'll come out behind us, essentially. A little bit annoying. Would have been, would have been nice to see Martin. Got no trucks behind us, so uh, yeah, you just pull out, mate. I did, didn't flash him or anything, he just wanted to apologise. I think he realised he just pulled out on me. Ah, we've got trucks queuing up on the road. I'm gonna have to speak to him. Is he queuing up for Shep? He can't be queuing up for Shep. Uh, if he is, tough. Cause I see Martin, he's there. I see Martin. Ah, just missed him, just missed him. Right, we've got to book in. No, oh, there's not many trucks here now. Right, let's go book in. I'm just literally going to the machine now to get my tickets. Yeah, Martin, I've just come in the, the exit, mate. Oh, sorry, the entrance. They're going to honk my horn, look. That was me. <laughs> See, I'm probably out of the cab now, putting your reference number in or whatever. So, you might hear me along my own as I come out the gate. There we are. Ah, oh, if I was like three minutes, maybe five minutes later, I would have seen you. I'm, I'm vlogging as well. Just been talking about you. <laughs> Right, yeah, we've just missed Martin. I've just been talking to him on the phone, leaving a voice message. He's literally just gone out as we've just come in, pretty much. Damn it, we missed each other, mate. Literally five minutes in it, we would have seen each other. <gasps> Never mind, I'll see you next week. Uh, this is the thing with lorry drivers, we can't, just, we can't just stop and meet up because we've got places to be. He's got to get back to Wales. Um, and he ain't got long to get back on a 13 hour shift, he was saying. Uh, he's, he's got like two hours left of working time. And it takes an hour and 15 minutes to get back. So he's like 10 minutes shy of making it. So it's like, just don't have time. We don't have time to stop and chat. Like we've got stuff to do, Drop the work comes first. So we're more than happy to wave at each other on the road and stuff. But other than that, there's not a lot else we can do. Anyway, we're here. There's four trucks in front of us. I just, just counted, I think. So, uh, yeah, just got to wait now for, uh, for these to move forward and then we can go on in. See you in a bit. Right. <laughs> I know I look ridiculous. Let's take that off. Take that off. Just double check we are definitely going back to the yard. Yep. So just messaged the boss in, just about to leave. Heading back to the yard. That was his opportunity to, uh, tell me if it was something else I was doing. So I'm just putting my paperwork together. That's Friday's deliveries in there. Right, now, this is gonna be a little awkward getting out of. It's super right. He's right on the corner. Loads of room. Ba, ba, ba. There we go. Yeah, so um, it's nearly quarter to six now. We got here. Uh, we got here at four o'clock. So not too bad. One hour forty-five minutes. Uh, it's about right for how many trucks there were. I always say it's twenty minutes a truck, pretty much. 
there were, I think there were three or four in front of me. I think there was four in front of me, like lined up, queuing, queuing up to go in. So 20 minutes a truck would be one hour 20, and then 20 minutes for yourself, uh, one hour 40. I've been there for one hour 45, so it's bang on pretty much what I, uh, what I suspected and how long it was going to take. So happy days. When we went in, we went all the way to the front pretty much of the queue. There are times when you're queuing up from the road, then you know you're in for a three or four hour wait. So uh, yeah, just the two hours, so happy days. Anyway, we're done for the day. So we're heading back to the yard now. My boss messaged me just now saying they see me there. So um, we'll probably load the truck up for, uh, for Monday, I suspect. We shall see, we shall see. But uh, this is it for the video, for the vlog. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, apologies to Martin for not being able to see him, obviously both got jobs to do so uh just not not the day for it unfortunately we uh just missed, missed each other by like that much it was close never mind anyway thanks for watching do appreciate it till next time drive safe stay safe and i will see you soon bye-bye <laughs>